Hello everyone, I'm here to show you a, how to make a responsive navbar using the bootstrap. Here I have already created a folder named HTML and created an index file and it is already connected to the bootstrap and jQuery. So I can show you this one. I have created an index.html page and already linked my style sheet and the script tags into this one. Now I'm going to create the navbar, which is a responsive one. So for that, I'm creating a nav class. You can see it is a nav class. Then inside that, I will be calling it as navbar, navbar inverse, so that I can see my navbar in black in color. And let it be fixed in the top. So navbar fixed. Top. And we can close this nav tag here itself in AV. And inside this, I'm going to declare a container. Container. And close it, close the tag here. Inside this container, I'm going to declare a division class called as navbar header it is inside this one that i am going to give the buttons that we will show, uh, we will see when the but, uh, when the screen is collapsed so let's uh, let's type in the button type is equal to Button type is equal to button and let the class be navbar toggle. And the data that must be toggled while we press the is collapsed. Let the data target be what we have declared in the next section that is the collapse section so i'm calling here it is an id so let's declare it as navbar uh, collapse now i will close the button tag here itself inside the button tag i will now declare some icon bars that will be Span class icon bar span. We can copy this three times so that we can see at least three icon bars when we collapse our site. Now I'm going to give a branch header so. Let's give it as a link. So I'm creating an anchor tag here, anchor at ahrf. Let the link be given later, and I will declare the class as navbar branch. So it the, this link will be the branch header of this navbar. So let's give it as something as responsive itself. I've given this name as responsive web web so that's all with the navbar header section now we will give the uh, d class of the uh, collapse section navbar collapse now here we have to declare the id that we have uh, given in the data target section so i am going to give it the same that is given in the target section now but collapse and close this data here itself inside this one i am going to have a ul class unordered list 
and the class will be uh, a nav and a nav bar nav let's say this uh, the uh, the list that we the page list of the pages that will appear to be in the right side so we can declare here it to be in the right side so i'll call it as navbar right and close this ul tag here and inside this ul i'm going to give a list of pages that we have to app we need to show when it appears on the right side of this navbar so let's give an anchor tag here Give it location and close the anchor tag. Let's say this page is the home page. I'll copy this one and paste as many as pages we uh, need to have. Inside this one, I'm going to give the about section about. This will be the gallery, and finally, the contact. This is the call for a uh, responsive nav, nav bar. Now we can check this one in our main browser. So I'm going to uh, run this HTML page in the browser. We have to close this view uh, tag here. Now we can see that we have successfully created a navbar with navbar universe. We can see this is the navbar branch, and here it is the list of pages that we have created. When we minimize this one, we can see our screen will be minimized, and this collapse. This is the icon bar. Uh, icon bar when we click on this it will expand and when you click this again it will collapse that's all for now thank you